Hi besties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Happy Saturday. Um, I hope you are having an amazing weekend. First of all, I really want to say thank you all so much for streaming my podcast and listening to it. It honestly makes my day. It's amazing. I love you guys so much. And if you don't know, I have a podcast where I talk about different topics about books and just kind of in general. It's a, it's a fun place. So if you want to go listen to one of my episodes, the link is down below. So today we're going to be talking about some books that I think are underrated. I have a few books I want to share with you guys. Make sure to subscribe down below and turn on the notification bell so you get notified when I upload more videos. And let's get started because I have quite a few books that I think you're gonna love. Okay, so the first book, I'm going to mention this book because I feel like it had its moment. Like, it was very, very popular at one point, and then, I don't, I, I don't know. I haven't really heard of it, like, constantly anymore, if you know what I mean. And this book is The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. You guys know, if you heard my first podcast episode, you guys know that I freaking loved this book. Like, I loved it. Like, it's one of my favorite books now. And as I said, I feel like it had its moment and I haven't really, like, heard much about it after that period of time. So I'm here to bring it back because everyone needs to read this book. <laughs> it's so freaking good. It's it's that good. Okay, okay. So, this book is about Stella. Stella is this 30-year-old woman who basically it's a workaholic. So she like doesn't have a boyfriend, doesn't it's not married, doesn't have children, and the book has that kind of stereotype where like you're 30 and you're not married and that's kind of like weird. So Stella's parents always like push her and ask her like why are you not married and why don't you even have a boyfriend like all that kind of stuff the girl feels stressed like like she constantly gets asked that so obviously she's gonna feel like very stressed about that topic and Stella actually has Asperger's so I mentioned this because it's really important in the story and basically she doesn't like to date she doesn't like the concept she gets really nervous and like the dates and the people and she hasn't had very good experiences with men so that's why she doesn't like to date so one day when she's at work this co-worker this male co-worker is talking to her about this specific situation that she's going through and this man tells her that she needs to get laid and that she needs to learn how to be good at sex and that is how she's gonna get a boyfriend when I read this, I was like, what? He said this to her and she actually considered it. She believed him and she was like, okay, I need to learn how to be good at sex. So what she does is she starts looking at like um, male escort websites until she finds like the perfect guy because she wants to hire a male escort to teach her how to be good at sex. So that is how the love interest of the story comes in, obviously, and that guy is Michael. So that's the thing, I loved the story so freaking much. It's really good. It's chef's kiss, you guys, please go read this. Like, I feel it needs more hype, like it needs more hype. Okay, next I have a book that I recently read. And this is another one that was like, Oh my gosh, so, so good, so good. Okay, so backstory of why I read this book. So, um, I have a book club, if you don't know, if you want to go join because it's awesome, I love it. It's on the app Fable, the app, the link is down below, and the book for the book club is Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren. <laughs> okay, so this quickly became one of my favorite books ever. I love this book so much that it earned to be in the Colleen Hoover bookshelf. Like, I just, yes, 
Okay, so this is a childhood best friends to lovers, which I normally don't really like love, but I loved it because this book is kind of like those books that have like um, things that happened in the past and then things that are happening now. So it tells the story of this girl, Maisie. Maisie moves to a small town um, with her dad because her mother died of cancer and they move into this t small town in this house and their neighbors are a big family of like four children i think they were four and like a mom and a dad that's where the boy guy comes into the story because it's kind of like the boy next door and that boy is elliot so the story is about Maisie and elliot Maisie and elliot basically grow up together because they are literally neighbors but Maisie is kind of in between houses so um she is not always in the house and that's near Elliot so they kind of do long distance is the cutest thing ever they kind of have this thing that in Maisie's house there's kind of like a closet and that closet was turned into like a library type of thing so they both like to read and it's the cutest thing ever so they spend so much time in that closet like reading and just talking to each other but that is like the past and the present moment is basically Maisie almost 30 I think 28 and you realize and yeah you realize that Maisie is 28 but she hasn't seen Elliot since she was 18 but when she's 28 she runs into him but you don't know why they stop talking I'm not gonna say anything else because that is all you need to know go read the book I feel like this needs more hype I feel like this should be hyped up like it ends with us yes like yes i said it okay so next book is one of my other favorite books and this is so freaking underrated it makes me mad it's by my favorite author colleen hoover and this is confess so i actually want to talk about two books i want to talk about confess and then i want to talk about hopeless because i feel like those two books are so freaking underrated like hopeless i never hear anything about hopeless maybe confess a little bit more but hopeless never and it makes me so mad because it's so good okay so first confess please please it's it's short go read it okay so this book starts out really sad <laughs> i'm just gonna say really sad okay so yeah this book starts with the um main character which is auburn and it's kind of the a backstory to like the actual story so like the backstory which is the beginning of the book is Auburn and her current boyfriend but they're like 14 15 but the thing is this is not this is not a spoiler what I'm gonna tell you literally happens in like the first 20 pages of the book Auburn's boyfriend has cancer so it's it's sad and obviously it doesn't turn out really well um, you can imagine but that is like the beginning of the book but the actual story starts after that so when she's older i think she's 19 20 i don't know if she's in her 20s i don't remember if you know please tell me down below i i actually don't remember but she's older and basically the story starts with her moving to in a different city a different state but you don't actually know why um you just know that she's looking for a job she needs a job like desperately so one day when she's um, walking back to her apartment, she runs into this art studio, art gallery, and there's a sign on the door that says, like, hiring. So she's like, perfect. And she enters the art studio gallery, and there he is, Owen. He's the owner of the art gallery. And when she walks into the art gallery, the weird thing that you just kind of are like, what, is that Owen recognizes Auburn, but Auburn doesn't recognize Owen. So you are kind of like, how? Like, what? And it's a whole story. It honestly reminded me a little bit of It Ends With Us. And the ending is my favorite part. I think it's my favorite ending. Yeah, you need to read this. Please, go read it right now. And the other book, I don't have it in paperback. I don't know why I haven't bought 
hopeless. Hopeless is beyond her book. I'm gonna put it right here. But I do wanna um, put a trigger warning for this book. Please look up trigger warnings. This book is it's a hard book to read. I'm just gonna say it. Like I read this book and I I didn't even read the synopsis of the book. I just started reading. Yeah, but <laughs> it's it's a really good book. Like it has a really good story, and it has that Colleen Hoover plot twist that you're just. I think it's one of like the biggest plot twist. So this book is about Skye. Skye is a teenage girl who has been homeschooled her entire life. She has never been able to have like a phone or a TV or internet because in her house there's no internet, like literally no phone, no internet, no TV, nothing. But when she's 17 going into senior year, um, she convinces her mother to let her go to a public school, high school, for her senior year. So that's what happens. She goes to this public high school, starts going there, and she meets kind of like the bad boy kind of guy, and that guy is Dean. So Dean Holder is kind of like the mysterious guy with a bad reputation. But long story short, they become friends, and then after that, they're, they kind of start dating. And that's where, honestly, I was like reading the book and I really liked it and I just felt like it was going to be a very normal book. Like, oh, they're high school sweetheart, like they're high school boyfriend and girlfriend. Okay, you just need to wait for the plot twist. There's so much more to the story. But if you like the little synopsis that I gave you, please go read the book because it's, it's really good. But trigger warnings. Okay, so I have three books left. Um, the next book, I don't have it in paperback. And this book is Building Bridges by Leah Fairchild. Leah is such a good author and honestly, she needs more um, hype. Like, her books need to be hyped up because this story was so... Oh my gosh. That's the kind of story that just, like, makes you believe in love. My battery ran out. <laughs> okay, so Building Bridges is about this man, Logan. Logan is a former soldier that never imagined that he would go to serving his country, to raising a child and taking care of his, basically his entire family um, because of a family loss. So it was a really hard thing in his family. They lost two women, um, two moms, which is so heartbreaking but that is um kind of like the backstory of the why he went to being a soldier to kind of taking care of his family and basically one thing happens to one of the children and they end up in the er but nothing like serious serious but basically when he's there he runs into this girl from his past and this woman is Molly. Molly has always been independent but finds herself growing attached to the family, including Logan, and discovering there's more to life than working on solitude. Logan and Molly quickly form a strong bond, and when attraction brings them closer, they agree getting involved wouldn't be good for their children. But when they both struggle to keep the blurry line of friendship between them, Molly won't take that step unless Logan can open up and face his painful past. This is a series, by the way, and kind of like the whole thing of um, Logan's family is that they all think they are cursed. Like, they are literally cursed because they're mostly men in the family. So kind of like the curse that they think they have is that they don't have like women in their families. So basically they leave or they die or something happens to them. And because that is what they've experienced. But when Molly arrives to the story, that all changes. Bridges Brothers series follows four brothers as they attempt to navigate life and love after a tragic family loss. Each book can be read as a standalone, but is more enjoyable reading in order. So I really think um, you should read this book. It's so cute. Oh, 
It's so freaking cute. I love, I also loved her writing style. It's really important to me. I loved her writing style and she needs so much more hype. Um, talking about needing more hype, this is another underrated book that you need to go read right now. This book is A Risk on Forever by N.S. Perkins. I have talked about this book for like in so many videos now. Like I don't want to say much because I've literally talked about this book like in two videos already I think. So basically what you need to know is that this book is Grumpy Sunshine, Enemies to Lovers, Forest Proximity. <laughs> Do you need anything else? No. Like what? Go read this. I love it. I loved it so freaking much. Okay, and the last book is, since we are still in spooky season, I want to mention this book because it's another book that needs so much hype. Like, it deserves so much hype. And I have honestly haven't heard, like, a lot of things about it. Like, I've heard about this book, but I loved it. So if you have um, the Book of the Month subscription, you can actually get this book um, from Book of the Month. If not, you can order it off of Amazon or I think Barnes & Noble. Okay, so this book is The X-Hex by Erin Sterling. Okay, so I'm such a sucker for like witches, vampires, werewolves, all that kind of stuff. Every mythical creature, I'm there. So this one is about witches and it has romance and it has spice what like i started reading this book and i did not expect it to have spice like what this book is about vivian so the book actually starts with kind of like a backstory and then the present moment so the backstory is when vivi was i think 18 years old and she just found out she was a witch and that her family was full of witches and she found out because her mother actually died so she needed to go live with her aunt and her cousin but she starts living with her aunt and her cousin so they both live in this like college town really small town vivi has like a summer fling summer romance with this guy riz so riz is another witch and basically they kind of date. She finds out that Riz has been keeping a huge secret from her and she dumps him. So the same day of the breakup she's at her aunt's house with her cousin and she's like in a bathtub like crying, drinking vodka. Vivi and her cousin start like trying to curse Riz but it all was like a joke. Like it wasn't a real like witchy thing. Like they weren't doing real magic. But weird things happen after after they try to curse him. So that is the backstory. And then it hops to nine years later. And like Vivi is older, she graduated college. She's working at the same college that she graduated. And she has like a witch shop, like a local witch shop. And Riz actually moved out of the um, of the small town like after the breakup, so she hasn't seen him. When he comes back to the town because of something that he needs to do, weird things start to happen to him. Like weird things. That's all I'm gonna say. Read the book. It's really freaking good. I loved the romance. I loved the adventure because it does have like a mission, like a adventure kind of we have a mission kind of thing and it has spies <sighs> main female characters what more do you need it's so good i loved it five stars <laughs> loved it so freaking much so you guys those are all the books that i have for you today um this was a long video i'm sorry but these are books that please you should read like go read them please for me and if you do send me a dm let's talk about it because i would love to hear your thoughts so if you like the video make sure to subscribe down below and turn on the notification bell so you get notified when i upload more videos and yeah um happy saturday thank you for watching and i will see you in my next one